Hello world, it is Saturday, uh, March 27th, 2021. Kind of an overcast, a little cool this morning. Um, not terribly cold, but cool. And I think it's going to be kind of that kind of day today, A little, although a little warmer a little bit later. And I think some possibility of rain, but again, typical kind of March, April uh, type of weather for the Midwest. The devotion for today is entitled uh, Integrity, and it's written by Fiwa Lanjani. Fiwa bases the devotion upon Colossians chapter 2, verses 9 through 10a, the ICB version of the Bible, which I've not heard of before. All of God lives fully in Christ, even when Christ was on earth, and in him you have a full and true life. Fiwa writes, the word integrity has roots in the word integrate, which generally means to bring parts together into a whole. When we think of the word integrity, we sometimes default to the first definition given by our friends over at Merriam-Webster, the quality of being honest and fair, rather than the second definition in the same dictionary, the state of being complete or whole. Living with integrity allows us to experience the peace and joy that emerge with overcoming dividedness in its many forms in our lives. It does not mean living without mistakes or bad decisions or struggles. It isn't easy to live with integrity, especially when we come face to face with, part, with parts of ourselves that are disappointing or not quite what we'd like. Over the last few weeks of Lenten listening, I'm convinced that wholeness is God's desire for us. When we're whole, we are, I can't read one of the words, we are able to embrace and share the gifts we're given. Each and every day is an opportunity to actively live into who God continues to create us to be. We're called to live with integrity, to bring forth all of who we are toward wholeness. So let's be honest and fair with ourselves and with each other. Let's open up to God, how God is drawing us to, toward true integration within and among each self, attending to the divine presence embedded in every part of creation. Because to live a full life is to allow God to live fully in us. And fee was prayer. Deliver us from dividedness, internally and externally, Invite us fully into the beauty, beautiful struggle of living with integrity. Amen. As I was reading this devotion, one of the things that struck me was that second definition of integrity, the state of being complete or whole. And I was reminded immediately of the Jewish word shalom, because that's essentially what that means. When you wish someone shalom, you wish them completeness and wholeness in being. And to me, that's what God wants for all of creation. And that's what Jesus was trying to show in the way he lived and in the things that he taught, how to live us, how, how to help us live in wholeness with each other and with all of creation. Um, because that is, I guess, in my mind, that's what everlasting life is really like. And what it's about is living in wholeness with all of creation and with God. And that means both here and in the next life. It's a continuum. So some beautiful words there from Fiwa this morning. So I hope you can live integrity today. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, as we gather for worship. Uh, we will be gathering both in person if you wish to attend but also continue to uh, live stream on Facebook Live. So I hope you'll join us one way or the other. Take care and hope to see you tomorrow.